Hey guys, uh, it's me again. Um, this is this video is gonna be a little bit different than my other videos. Um, my other videos are some comedy things, me and my friends being stupid. Um, but this one is actually gonna help you all out. Um, anybody having trouble with their Xbox 360 wireless networking adapter? If you're not getting good signal, um, we have a way to fix this and. Uh, some people call this redneck, but it really works. I made one for myself, and I made one for my brother. And they both work. You can see a tremendous difference in it. Um, so what we're going to make is kind of like an artificial satellite. Um, it's just going to filter all of your connection down to your antennas. Um, I've already made one for myself and my brother, so I'm just going to kind of throw this one together. It's not going to be exactly perfect, but it's just so you all know how to make yours. And I hope this helps you all out, but uh, this is all you'll need. You need your wireless networking adapter. By the way, this will work with the two antennas, or um, for those of you that have the single antenna adapter, it works for that as well. Uh, the only difference is the holes that you have to punch. So, yeah, here's your supplies. Wireless networking adapter, of course, um, an ink pen, uh, preferably a fat one. Uh, that way you can round out the holes so your adapter antennas will fit in it. Um, piece of cardstock paper. You need cardstock so it'll uh it's kinda springy. It'll kinda retain that shape. Um you need aluminum foil, a glue stick, scissors or a pocket knife. I prefer the the pocket knife. Um it's a lot easier to handle. Uh, the only thing you really need scissors for is to cut the dental floss, which we also need dental floss. And well here you go. This isn't going to be exactly perfect, but this is a quick way to show you how to do it. Okay. So, what you want to do is you want to take your glue stick. You want to cover uh, your cardstock paper completely. Now, I'm not going to make this exactly perfect because, you know, I've already made it. Um, but, you want, if when you're actually doing this, um, you want to make sure that you cover every bit of your cardstock paper that you can. You don't want a lot of holes in it, otherwise you'll get some bubbles and some wrinkles. Um, and by holes, I mean gaps in the glue. Because uh, you'll get some wrinkles and some bubbles in your aluminum foil. And that will cause you not to get as good signal. So I'll explain it to you while I'm doing this, save some time. Um, what I'm basically doing is I'm going to make a satellite, basically a satellite thing. Um, what happens is this is going to um, concentrate all of your wireless signal to your antennas. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the aluminum foil glue it down onto this, smooth it out where it's flat. Um, we're going to take some dental floss um, and we're going to make this curved into like a satellite shape and we're going to make holes in the middle of it for our antennas to go through. Um, so it's going to end up being somewhere about this shape with aluminum foil uh, on it and these two things sticking up top. So, yeah, here we go. Um, you want to put your aluminum foil down shiny side up. You want your aluminum foil to be a little bit bigger than your cardstock paper. Um, just because, just make sure you get it all evenly spread out. You don't have to worry about lining up edges. Um, and the credit for this uh, invention thing, it goes to Maoin685, so y'all can uh, check out his videos. He's got, he's actually got an example of his on his Xbox. Um, so this is where I got, this is where I got the idea from. I uh, just helping, helping spread it. So yeah, once you get that down, take the top of uh, your glue stick lid, smooth in. You want to go over it and spread out any wrinkles any air bubbles. Mine's not going to be exactly perfect. 
but you want to get them flat that way you can get as much signal as you can down into your uh, antennas because if it's wrinkled it will bounce off the wrinkles and the bubbles and go every other direction besides your antenna so once you get that smoothed out you going to flip it over take your glue stick go along the inside of the edge like so and just take your aluminum foil fold it over the edge just like that I just smooth it out with the lid there make sure it sticks down good and, good and snug sorry if I'm rushing this I'm trying to make it under 15 minutes because I made a video earlier and it wasn't under 15 minutes so I couldn't put it on YouTube to share the information with you guys so you know you gotta do what you gotta do alright now I got that smoothed down what we're gonna do um, you want to take your pocket knife now you want to get your wireless adapter find sort of the, the midpoint right here the middle of your paper and put the center of your adapter over the middle of the paper then you want you want to take your pocket knife make a little spot where your antenna sits same thing over here and now you want to take your pointy blade of your pocket knife put holes in that paper in the paper where you where you marked it at and sorry if there is video lag it, it's an old camera um, let's make sure that lines up now on the sides out here on the edges see there's your holes on the sides you want to take your dental floss um, let's make it about a foot and a half long that's fine, that's over what you need, but always good to have extra. Um, okay, come out here, make a little little tiny slit out to the edge, straight out from your holes that you made for your antennas. Little tiny slit, same thing on the other side. Alright, and this is what your dental floss threads through. Take your dental floss, see so there's a slit, and slit. And take the dental floss, thread it through, like so. Sorry, this is a bit difficult with glue stick on your fingers. And once you get that through, you want to just want to tie it off over here to the edge. Just like that. Simple knot, nothing fancy. Take scissors, you can use a pocket knife, it doesn't matter. Snip the edge off of that. Now you take the other end. Do the same thing by putting it through. But now what you want to do is you want to pull this tight. Pull the dental floss tight to where it holds your paper in sort of that position. You don't want it straight up and down. You want it kind of kind of open so you can collect your service. This is kind of the tricky part. You want to put your finger down right here so you can hold how far your string needs to be. Now you want to make your knot. Now before you pull it tight, you want to take these two fingers and hold the string so you know how far. Let that slide and pull tight. Like that. There you go. There's that. 
Now you just want to make another little knot right here. Just make sure it holds. Snip. Now here's where you actually put your wireless adapter in. Take your pin, just kind of put it in, twist, make the hole a little bit bigger, just enough where your antenna can fit snugly. See what I'm doing right here? Kind of push through. There you go. Same thing with the other hole. And this is the simplest part of the process. Just turn it over. Take your wireless network adapter. Push it through the holes. Like that. Don't worry if the antennas aren't exactly straight. Um, you know, it's all going to the same place. So, um, that's it right there. This is what it looks like from this angle. You have this. You plug this in the back of your Xbox. If you don't have um, a good place to plug this into and set this up at the same time, they make extension cords for USB. Uh, male and female end. Um, you just plug it into this. Um, it runs from this to the back of your Xbox so you can get good placement. Uh, just angle this kind of towards your router. The direction of your router, this should collect the um, all the network uh, data and signal and just kind of funnel it down into your antenna. This actually works. I've done it for mine and my brothers and uh, we've both seen a difference. So, there you go. This is a uh, Good stuff right here. Um, now I want to challenge you. If you uh, if you know how to set your Xbox 360 network um, from your w router, uh, if you know how to set your NAT to open or moderate instead of strict, um, that's a great thing to comment. Uh, uh, if you want me to make a video of it, explain it to me. I don't know how to do it. I've been trying to mess with it, figure it out. You can leave a video response, a uh, link to your video. Um, just something to let let people know because that's uh, that's something a lot of people have trouble with. So yeah, uh, click that little yellow button, subscribe if you want to. Uh, leave me some comments if you want me to do any other videos. Uh, leave a suggestion in the comment box. Um, so yeah, there you go. I'm out.